Hello y'all, this is Prime3285, and I just want to talk about the history of the Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64 was a great system, in my opinion. It was the first system I remember getting around the era of the PlayStation and Sega Saturn. And I remember the Nintendo 64 came out after, it was newer than those systems. But it was the first system I remember getting. I remember my mom got me for it, got me it. 96. I remember I got it the year around the time it came out. And I remember everybody in school had a PlayStation, but I had a Nintendo 64. And I had fun. And the first game I remember having for it was Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And I had a blast with my Nintendo 64. I had fun. It was just awesome. Graphics, you know, and also in Japan, you know, Nintendo 64 was originally called. Nintendo Ultra 64. It was originally called in Japan, if I recall, Ultra 64. And it was really cool. It came with different colors, different versions, like of the system, different colors, different skins, you know, customs, you know, different, you know, I love the remotes too. You know, I love the uh, different remotes that, come, that came with the system. You know, I love the games, like I love Super Mario 64, that was definitely a classic game. That was one of my favorite games for the Nintendo 64. Um, I liked it. The Star Wars, Shadow of the Empire. I love, you know, a lot of games. I love the wrestling games, like I love WCW, NWO, World Tour. I love the second game, which was WCW, NWO, Revenge. I love the racing games too, like I love Mario Kart 64. I love Diddy Kong Racing, that was a great game. I love Rush, because I know they had Rush for the PlayStation, but it also was for Nintendo 64. But I remember they came out with a Rush 2, and I think Rush 2 was only for the Nintendo 64, Rush 2 USA. But I had a blast, and I really enjoyed the games with the system. I just loved it. Like, I remember being in school back in 96, and we used to argue over what was better, the PlayStation or the Nintendo 64, and I remember I used to always say the Nintendo 64. That was my first system that I got. I didn't I didn't get any of the other systems till after I got my 64, but the Nintendo 64 was the first system I got around that era, around that time in 96. And I had a blast with it. You know, I love Mortal Kombat. I love the Sub-Zero Mortal Kombat game. I love Donkey Kong 64, that was a great game too, you know, you know, I love uh, Rush, I love the, you know, the Rush games, you know, the racing games, I love Cruising USA, you know, Cruising World was a great game too, the sequel, Cruising World, but I remember I had a blast with this game, it had a lot of games, Know, like Golden Eye, I love the Golden Eye games, they were good too. Golden Eye, you know, I used to always play that. And um, with my friend Spence, you know, with my brother, Boomer, you know, the game was a great, great system. I mean, the, uh, the, the, you know, it had a lot of great games, the Nintendo 64, you know, you know, it was really cool, and I just loved the games, really enjoyed the system, you know, it was, it was just awesome. It brings back memories, you know, and that's something in Japan, it was called Ultra 64, it was really cool, you know, and what was also unique about it is it had four, it had four ports, you know, it had four ports, so people could play four players, you know, it was really cool, and it also had a memory slot on the top of the system that you could put in give you more memory or something also what was unique about it that it came with a thing that you know I don't know if it was there you know it lasted long but they had the Nintendo 64 DD you know that was like something that also was included with the system later on you know also you had the different customs with the system you know like the Pokemon and 
all the different color remotes. I remember I had the blue remote. And they had like the see-through, you know. You know, and I remember Nintendo 64 had the Rumble Pack. The Rumble Pack was awesome. I love the Rumble Pack. You know, I had the memory card, you know. Even the design, just the design of the remote was just awesome how the design was. You know, the analog, you know, it was cool. Um, Wave Racing 64 was cool, you know. <laughs> it was really awesome, you know, I really love the Nintendo 64 and I really love Mario 64. I remember I used to stay up all night playing Mario 64. It was just an amazing game, it was the very first Mario game, but I want to talk more about that in another video. But you know, this game had Super Smash Bros. You know, I think the first Super Smash Brothers was for the system, if I can recall. I think Banjo Kazooie, Diddy Kong Racing. I love playing Diddy Kong Racing, and Mario Kart 64. But you know, I really loved the Nintendo 64. The graphics was really cool. And I remember in school, kids used to tell me, you know. While I was in class, my you know my class mates used to tell me that the PlayStation, you know, the first PlayStation had better graphics, it had more bits. But actually, the, the uh, PlayStation only had 32 bits. This has 64 bits. You know, you know so that's crazy. You know, now I look back on it, I guess I was right. You know, it did have more bits. I really enjoyed the Nintendo 64, it was just awesome, it was a great system, you know, it was a classic, you know, it was just, it, it brings back so many memories, so many memories, and I can remember coming home from school and, you know, and my mom surprising me, I remember going up in, in my room or near the door, and actually I was in my mom's, I went in my mom's room and it was behind the door, and my mom surprised me with the system. It was like, man, I came down and I just couldn't believe I had a Nintendo 64. And I remember, I think it was either on Monday or Tuesday, it was like, you know, I came home and my mom let me stay up all night playing it, you know. We spent like, like a, um, like a few hours hooking it up to figure out what, you know, you know, what core goes where, but I remember, I stood up all, you know, I was up all night on a school night and, you know, playing Mortal Kombat Trilogy. That was the first game I got from my Nintendo 64, you know. Then I ended up getting Mario 64, you know, WCW, NWO Revenge. I used to love playing the wrestling games. Nintendo 64, in my opinion, had the best wrestling games, like WCW, NWO Revenge. It was just awesome. It's really cool, you know, um, WrestleMania 2000, No Mercy, you know, had a lot of amazing wrestling games and the graphics was really good too, it just bring back memories, you know, and I want to hear, I just want to know uh, about, you know, y'all experiences, I wanted to, did y'all enjoy the Nintendo 64, I just want to know from my my subscribers, I want to know that y'all had fun playing the Nintendo 64, and I just want to know what y'all, what were y'all favorite games too as well, you know. Because I really enjoyed the system, I really did, and you know, this, it was just amazing, you know. I remember seeing the commercial and because it was newer than the PlayStation. The PlayStation was already out around that time. The Sega Saturn was out all, you know, already around that time. And then the Nintendo 64 came out, you know. And it sold a lot of units. It sold really good, you know. It was so really good. I think it was a little behind the PlayStation. PlayStation sold a little more units, but it sold really well, you know. And had a lot of amazing, amazing, um, had a lot of amazing games, you know, with it, it had a lot of, uh, great titles, you know, in my opinion, it had a lot of great games, you know, and 
I just remember playing Rush. I love playing Rush. And then there was this game called Extreme G. You know, I really enjoyed Extreme G. I really enjoyed it. It was like a futuristic motorcycle game. And it was really cool. It looked like, the bikes looked like the, uh, the bikes from Tron. It looked really cool. It was futuristic, you know. It was really cool. I love that. I love automobile Lamborghini. You know. Had a lot of amazing games. A lot of great racing games too. It's really cool. Now the games I wish I would have played for it was Killer Instinct Gold. You know, they had Killer Instinct for it. And I wish around that time I played it. I guess I wasn't that much big on Killer Instinct, but there were so many other games that I have to say I didn't play, you know, but I, I remember playing Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I love that game. That was a classic. That was a great Nintendo 64 game. I love playing Majora's Mask, the sequel to Ocarina of Time. That was another great Zelda game. You know, had a lot of great games that I remember. You know, that, you know, it was just really awesome. And I will never forget the Nintendo 64. It's definitely a classic. It's definitely one of my favorite Nintendo systems. My favorite is my favorite consoles of all time. One of my top favorites. You know. <laughs> um, just had a blast. I love the Star Wars game. That was really cool. You know, it was just awesome. Tour Rock Dinosaur Hunter. You know, it was just awesome. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it. They even had games like Perfect Dark, you know, which was a first person shooter game. And then you had the 007 games, which was first person, you know. You had uh, Killer Instinct, Gold, you know. I had a lot of great games. Cruising USA, Cruising World, you know, Rush, Rush 2 USA, Rush 2000, 2014, or, you know. I remember playing all the Rush games. Like I played the first game. I loved the first Rush game. I loved the second game. You know, Rush 2 USA. And I love. And the third game was really good too. It was like futuristic. You know. But I really enjoyed the Nintendo 64. You know. I used to always come home from school and play it. I used to play it. Be up all night.